Back at Tri-Cities Coliseum, Kirk Williamson along with American's co-captain Steve Jakes. The emphasis has been on defense, Steve, the last couple of games, and uh, both Portland and Seattle held to fairly low scores in a couple of very tough games this weekend. Yeah, well, we tried to get back to a defensive style game, and and uh, looks like it's worked. We had, a, uh, I think, four games there. We led in 26 goals against us, and and always been playing great the, the, these uh, last two games. The uh, Portland game last night, a two to one overtime victory for the Americans. Then tonight, come back uh, in the first period, fall behind three goals to uh, Seattle. It takes a lot of character to come back, especially in a game. Uh, that's had as much uh, extra activity as that first period did. Yeah, well, I think with all the fights got our mind off, uh, you know, we're off our game, off the game, and and we really we quit fighting and we just started playing our game again. Then we came back and uh, we did the job. What was it uh, that uh, caused the the fights? There were five of them in the first period. Is that uh, both teams came out just uh, a little bit uh, edgy, or or is that left over? You suppose from Seattle's game last night with Spokane or what? I really uh, have no idea. I don't know. You know, it's a funny game. Those things happen. I guess it just kind of turned into a so you think you're tough contest. I'm not sure. Well, the Americans hung in there and uh, convinced Seattle that it wasn't uh, going to be that kind of a game. And uh, in the second and third periods, you get a couple of goals in the game. Uh, and uh, I think a couple of assists, too. You had a pretty good game tonight, yeah, both well, offensively and defensively. Well, I've been playing good offensively lately, and that's just trying to put my defensive game together, and, and slowly they're, they're two, my two games are coming together. Hopefully I can keep it up. With the uh, trade the other day, they brought uh, Terran Sandwith to the uh, Tri-City Americans. Puts a little bit of extra pressure on you as a team captain and, and defensive leader. Uh, to bring a young man like that who obviously has tremendous physical tools uh, into the uh, into the fold, so, so to speak, and, and uh, make him perform as part of this team. Yeah, well, with uh, young guys like that, it, it's hard for them to step right in and contribute, but, you know, when the games, he'll, he'll play, and he'll play not when the games are really close in the third period or anything, but he'll get lots of ice time, and we play a lot of games, so it should be good for him. Which means that uh, when he comes onto the ice next year as a 17-year-old, he'll have that much more advantage. And another one in that same situation is Kevin Robertson. Oh, definitely. Uh, you're in the league, mate, and when you see all the rinks and you, you kind of know what the league's all like and you get so much more confidence, it's, when you're a rookie, it's hard because you don't, you're not sure of what's going on and with the speed of the players and, and what's going on out there. But with a year in the league, it, it helps enormously. Steve, I, one other thing I wanted to ask you about, and that is the uh, Blues Brother, or Bruise Brothers poster that you and uh, Greg Spinrath did, uh, the uh, benefit poster for the March of Dimes. You're selling those. You've had a couple of autograph parties here and over at uh, Penny's. Are those going pretty well? They're going really great. We just got to, we're going to have a couple more of them, and when we advertise it, people really come out. Uh, we've had a couple where we didn't have it advertised, and, and nobody really knew about it, so they were kind of uh, downers, but... When we uh, get it advertised, everybody comes out and they buy shirts at pennies and you can get anything autographed you want. Those are uh, great posters. And yeah. I, I want to tell you that uh, I'm sort of a March of Dimes daddy. I have a healthy six-year-old at home that uh, is mainly the result of March of Dimes research. So I'm really glad to see you guys uh, do that. And uh, it's a great uh, community gesture. And I know it's a lot of fun for you and Greg to put that together. Oh, that's a lot of fun. And, and we picked the uh, charity one to go to. So. I'm happy to hear that uh, it's going to a good cause. Steve Jakes, our guest on our post-game show. We'll be back to talk with Coach John Oliver in one minute on this Tri-Cities Radio America.